Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name's Elizabeth. My channel name is chi Girl. This is a late night haul for me tonight. I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. I hope you're all doing well and I'm not going to waste any time and I'm going to jump right into it. Lots of food treats, especially brand name food treats. I was super excited to find some of these fun finds. So what is it? 31 seconds into it and I've already dropped something on the floor. Thankfully, I have two. So, okay. Oy, I tell you, it never fails, right? All right. These are made by Betty Crocker. These are four mix pouches. It's a net weight ounce of 8.9 ounces and it says chills in five minutes. You get four individual servings and it's lemon mousse. So I'm a big fan of, um, I do like and enjoy lemon flavors. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to give this a shot. It says it's pretty simple. Um, basically, it just says put one pouch of the mousse mix into the uh, milk into an 8 to 12 ounce glass. And then stir for one minute until blended. Let stand 30 seconds. Stand, um, repeat again for one minute. Chill for at least five minutes. Squeeze the topping pouch that it gives you inside and bam, it's done. Wow, I have to believe it to see it. So I'll definitely do a taste test on one of these to share with all of you. Um, another good find, also brand name. This is Betty Crocker as well. And this is the big bag, not the small little bags they normally have. This is a, a one pound, 1.5 ounce Betty Crocker, and it is the molasses cookie mix. Now, my mom, oh yeah, <laughs> my mom used to make over 30 different types of Christmas cookies. We'll go into that another time. One of my most favorite Christmas cookies of my mom's was she used to make Pfefferness cookies. And if you're not sure what those are, um, you kind of have to look it up to get all the, the ingredients. But one of the main ingredients in Pfefferness cookies is molasses. And I thought, you know, I tried to make Pfefferness cookies a couple of times and I really screwed them up. I don't know what is it I'm doing wrong. The dough comes out really tough and rough but anyways to make a long story short i thought okay i'm gonna try making some of these and then um doing adding in some of the other stuff that goes with pfefferness cookies and seeing if i can come up with a better combination so it's going to be hit or miss but again this is a one pound 1.5 ounce package so this is the big one this is not a small package um, it does have an expiration date of September of 2022. So maybe just molasses isn't a real popular flavor. I'm not sure. Okay, another fun brand name find, Betty Crocker again. This is limited edition Yukon Gold Casserole. And it's a blend of real russet and Yukon Gold potatoes with a savory breaded crumb herb topping. And it is a 5.2 ounce package. And this one also has a good expiration date. This is good until October 14th of 2022. So plenty of time, I figured I'd give that a try. Never go to Dollar Tree when you're hungry. That's where I, my bad. Um, I did pick up some more, which is another brand name, the Bachman Butter Twist Pretzels. This is a three ounce package and it clearly states right on there what the retail price is. So you can see right there, you're saving 89 cents. And these have that little bit of butter flavor. I don't like a lot of fake imitation butter flavor, but these are really good, especially with some French onion tip. Oh, a beer helps too. <laughs> okay, let's get into, oh, this was a fun find. I was like, these are Captain Crunch brand name snack pouches and you get eight individual pouches in a package. 
each package is 6.4 ounces. I was like, say what? So this is what the box looks like. I opened this one up already. It just comes with a little tab. So I can show you. I was like, oh, these are so cute. I managed to get one, two, three in total. I didn't see any other flavors. I'm not showing, saying that there are flavors or there aren't. I'm just saying I didn't see any. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. And you get all these individual pouches of Captain Crunch. I think this is totally cool. I mean, yeah, you could buy a box of Captain Crunch, buy a box of Ziploc baggies and do the exact same thing for probably a eighth of the cost. But this is just fun. It's, you know, it's the packaging. Again, it's what I'm always saying. It's the presentation. So one of these, I thought those were kind of fun. Sometimes you just need a little something in your purse, a little something in your backpack, something in your glove box to just either shut the kids up, shut the husband up, the boyfriend up, shut whoever up. Sometimes it's just nice if you just have a little something, if your Tommy's grumbling and you just want something to munch on. The other thing, um, I was floored. Um, I only found two. I talked to the store manager and the store manager said to me, you know what? We got in one case. That was all we got. I don't know. Sometimes they just get really random things in. Like one store had some pop tarts I missed out on. This I would have, I definitely would have bought the entire case if I had come across it. I would have been a piggy. These are Nature Valley sweet and salty chewy granola bars. The full size box. There's six in a package. They're salted caramel chocolate. What? Are you kidding me? You've got the box tops on here. The only thing I can think of is the expiration date is um, October 3rd of 21. That's still quite a bit of time. Maybe that's the only reason they showed up. I tried to find other stores around me that had them. Nobody had them, so... I don't know if it was just a hit or miss or what, but I did luck out with two boxes. I know these are expensive in the store. These are almost four bucks a box in the store. So I was like, wow, I would have totally bought the whole case. I would have been a pig and just, I'm sorry, but I would have. Okay, moving on. These are a repeat from last year. These were so popular last year. So many people enjoyed them. So I grabbed one. I'm not sure if I'll put it in a giveaway or just hang on to it. But this is the one that's, they have two different colors. One in gray and one in black. And this one I did in the gray. It's more like a silver. And what I'm referring to is the edges of this. So it comes with a full set of letters with the alphabet. And where is my ruler? It doesn't give me a size, so I'm going to measure it for you. Eight inches by eight inches. So there's the back. So it does give you a little hook back there that you can hang it from. Your plastic letters you're going to have to pull apart. But you can see where the inserts are to put it in. I've used this board, and it's really nice. I mean, for a buck... You can't beat it. So they're back. <clears throat> I found these birthday boxes that I just couldn't pass up. I think they're simply adorable. They're perfect if you're giving somebody a mug or a cup. And I put a Ray Dunn cup in one of these just to check. And it fit perfect. Um, if you're a Ray Dunn hunter or collector. They're four and a half inches all the way around. Here's what the outside of the box looks like. Super colorful. And then right on the top, and this kind of sticks up a little, it says, it's your birthday. And then when you open it up, there's the inside. What I think is so cool about this is something like this, you don't even have to wrap. I mean, I would do a little ribbon or maybe put like a bow up in the corner, but it's perfect just to have that the way it is, you know? And if you can save a little bit of money on wrapping, by all means. This other box is the exact same size. I thought this one was really cute too. So here's what the outside looks like all the way around. Really lots of pastel colors. But then this one here 
have the best birthday ever. And this one lifts up as well. I thought that was so pretty. I just love those colors. And this is perfect. Again, same size and Ray Dunn mugs fit. <laughs> I measured. All right. Um, I did grab a couple sweets. These, um, this was the first time I saw these. These are little mini York peppermint patties. Um, it says it's a three ounce package. I mean, I know they had the small York peppermint patties, but these look like super small. Um, they are, well, it says minis unwrapped. It's a, again, a three ounce package. So you know what? We just have to find out for ourselves, right? Oh, they're little baby ones. Oh my gosh. Look how cute are these? Oh my gosh. They're adorable. Oh, how adorable. Okay. My bad. <laughs> I've told you guys I'm getting really brave. Okay. So besides those, Hershey's Kisses, M&M's, Pepsi, Coke, <laughs> all these companies are going nuts with flavors, scents, smells, this was a very new one for me. Hershey's Kisses Strawberry Ice Cream Flavor. Oh, excuse me. It's Strawberry Ice Cream Cone. Um, so it's Strawberry Flavored Cream and Cookie. That's what it looks like. I'm assuming that... Oh, it looks like the... Okay, I have to show you these. The wrappers are what's getting people. Well, obviously the flavors. How cute are these? Oh, wow. There is some strawberry going on here. The wrappers. Oh, my gosh. How do I describe it? Okay, let me try to get one that shows it really well. Well, what they are is all over the wrappers. They're ice cream cones. Here's one. Look, the wrappers have ice cream cones. So if you can see right up here on the wrapper, they're ice cream cones. All right, so you know what? I have to try one of these now because it smells so good. All right, so it's the size of a regular Hershey's Kiss. Whoops. And it's nice and pink. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mm. And there's a little bit of cookies. So you get that crunch in the middle. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That's really nice. I was worried like the aftertaste for the strawberry. But it is a brand name company. Hershey's definitely pulled it off. I think it's very, very nice. Um, okay, now I'm going to have a sugar buzz going. <laughs> the next thing I found. These are made by Jot. I usually get these around the summertime. I actually have one of these in my purse that I've had for like, like two years now. These are expandable file folders. I use these basically for coupons. Things I just need, uh, you know, the sales flyers from Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, Bath, Bath & Body Works, Victoria's Secrets. These are expandable folders. They're like a hard plastic. They measure 7 inches in length by 5 inches in width. Now, they do have 6 pockets. You have a, This sticker does peel off. You have a snap right here. And then there's all your pockets. They even give you the piece here so you can make tabs if you wish. What I like about it, it's small. It's got this great snap. And it's a beautiful mint green. And it's just perfect. It's I'm going to make a noise here. So 
It's like a nylon, a hard nylon. So I found one that's mint green. I found one here that's lavender. I found one in pink. Whoops. And I found one in this light blue. So I'm hoping it looks pretty good on screen. I'm hoping you can see each color. Again, I've had one in my purse for over two years now and I love it. You know, it's not one of those big ones. And I know that if I need something like I'm going to a store that I need a coupon for, I don't know, say 40% off, 20% off. Most of us use our phones, but these come in handy. You know, it's just an easy way to store stuff inexpensively. Okay. Oh, these were kind of cool. These are basically, you're going to call them dream catchers. And these are a little bit different from ones I've seen in the past. These are a little bit bigger, actually. I can't give you a full length because, well, actually, I could take one out of the package. Hold on. I found two different ones. They're all going to be different. No two are the same. Okay. Let me just, without taking it off the packaging. They did this really well. Okay, so first of all, they give you this really long string to hang from. This time, they wrapped it all the way around the heart. And then you have your beautiful feathers. Of course, these are all different colors. Again, no two are the same. Total length. I'm not going to measure from the top here. I'm going to measure from down here. Actually, the longest feather ends up being 12 inches. So I found this one in the heart, which I thought was super pretty. And then I found, and I'll open this one too, because I don't think that really gives it justice. Okay, so this is where you hang it from from and it's a rainbow look at that isn't that beautiful and I love the fact that they did a little bit of string and feathers on each side I think they did a great job and this one is also all wrapped um, because this is like a little piece of wire and I just think that puts a little finishing touch on there and, and really adds a little bit of or a little bit of Okay, I'm not going to taste test these because I can already feel the sugar kicking in, but I have had these before and I just grabbed a couple packs because Grandpa had whistled in my ear that he goes, do you have any more of those? And I was like, oh, I've already sealed his Easter basket and I couldn't fit any more in there if I wanted to. Um, I did do a video of Grandpa's Easter basket. Um, I put up a thing in the sky for you to check it out if you didn't see it, um, but I have had these before and they're lovely they're 2.22 ounces and these are the vanilla cream so it's a soft caramel and then it's got vanilla cream in the middle and oh i didn't say any of this haul was good for you but i did find some really good bargains for the brand names in my opinion okay i did come across and i grabbed these because every now and then breeze oh these smell so good I have so many different smells going on here and they're all wonderful. Anyways, Breezy had a 55 count package sheet um, and this one is the floral bouquet. And of course the purplish packaging got me. I'm bad, I'm bad, but it did. It smells really good. I really enjoy the smell. So um, I do a lot of laundry around here because I take care of, you know, grandpa as well. Um, so I grabbed me two packages of those because I always like to have an extra one on hand. I'm one of those that always likes to have a backup. If I'm out of ketchup in the fridge, I know I can go to the cabinet and there's one in the backup. That's just how my mom always was with us kids. And we were very fortunate to be able to do that. So that's something that I just continue to do and I teach my daughter to do. It's like... You know, you're better to have a backup. If you can afford to do it, you get stuff when it's on sale. <clears throat> if you hear my voice going in and out, 
this is my allergy time. So I do have some stuff going on. Um, I am actually going to the doctor tomorrow morning. Well, by the time you see this, it'll be this morning. I'm going to the doctor um, to just get a recheck on some new medications I'm on. And because I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. So that's why my voice is kind of off and on. Um, I did pick up another bottle of the rubbing alcohol, which rubbing alcohol, for those of you that don't know, and maybe some of you don't, comes in different um, percentages of isopropic alcohol. There's usually like a 70, 80, 90, 100. And Dollar Tree's been carrying a 70%, and that really, that's pretty decent. I mean, I'm not knocking rubbing alcohol. You know, 50%, eh, it'll clean things, but it ain't all that great. If you can get like 80 to 100, that's like perfect, but this is not bad for a dollar because it is much more expensive in the stores. And this is a one pint, which is 16 fluid ounces. This is something I get all the time. Oh, and there went something else on the floor that I don't have two of. Oi. Okay, Wishbone, another brand name. This one is Balsamic Vinaigrette. You know, when I start um, getting the tomato plants planted, I, there's nothing better than a fresh tomato fresh cucumber, fresh mozzarella, and some <laughs> and a little bread. Oy. Okay, so these are eight fluid ounces. Wishbone balsamic vinegar dressing. There they are. Expiration date on these are December of 2021. So that's probably why they're at DT, but still wonderful for your pasta salads. Can't beat it. For a buck, you can't beat it. Let's see. Oh, here is another brand name, Downy this time. Downy um, Fresh Protect. It's one dose of April Fresh. And I was surprised to see Downy. It's those little bath beads. It smells really nice. But what I did was I took one of these, but I took it in the other package, that green one. Um, It was black box with green writing. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Anyways, what I did was I just put a couple holes in the top of it and I tucked one of these in the back seat of the car and it makes the car smell wonderful. And people will say like, oh my gosh, what it smells so good in here. Just gotta be careful if you got kitties in the back seat. You don't want them eating on those, trust me. Okay, this was something um, different. I hadn't seen these in years and my mom always had a set of these and um, I don't have a set of them and so I thought you know what what the heck <clears throat> these are my cooking concepts they're already got bathing suits out everywhere I mean oh it's like it's not it's just uh, the Cadbury commercials on <laughs> sorry um where was I going with this Oh my God. Yes, this is where somebody normally would edit. Not me. I'm just going to sit here like a dingbat until I remember what I was going to say. I know my mom used to use these all the time. Um, I just thought they were cute. And with summer, not here, it's only April. I mean, there's bathing suits everywhere. It's like their barbecue stuff's out everywhere. It's like, oh my God, Mother's Day stuff is out already. It's only April. <clears throat> and just turned April. Anyways, cooking concepts. Anybody who is probably from my age category down remembers these, remembers using them, also remembers using Well, you know the little prickly things that go in to hold your corn cobs? I have them here somewhere in the bin. I don't know where they went. So it was by Cooking Concepts as well. And you got four of them. You get four of these to put your corn on the cob in. And that way you can roll your butter and roll it in there. That's what you have these little side dips for. So when you stick the prongs in your corn in the cob, you just roll it in the dish of butter. 
Okay, if I come across them, I'll show you. All right. Continuing the, with the barbecue theme. And this would also be a super cool, I think it would be a super cool thing to put together. Say, you have someone who loves to barbecue. We have Father's Day coming up. We have Mother's Day coming up. There's lots of moms that love to barbecue. And there's so much barbecue stuff at Dollar Tree right now. You could put together a really nice barbecue basket for someone that would be totally themed. But I picked up these few things because these are just such memories for me. Okay. Who does not remember getting their french fries in these baskets? Not these specific, you know, ones, but ones that look exactly like it. You get four pieces, again, by Cooking Concepts. And these is where you would get your fries in. So your fries always... Uh, I'm unprepared... Someone's going to yell at me for being unprepared. You always got this basket, and it always had a piece of this tissue-type paper, which they have at Dollar Tree. You get 15 sheets for a dollar. The sheets are 15 by 18 inches. They're a little bit thicker than tissue paper because they got a little bit like a... Um, not a wax, but like a parchment paper so the hot fries won't melt. So you take a sheet of this, you put it in your dish, you put your fries in there. I don't know, I'm just blasting back to the old days where you'd go into drive-ins and stuff like that. And okay, I knew I wasn't losing my mind. There they are. And you get eight of them because you need two for each piece of corn on the cob. So this matches with everything else that I've shown you. What a cool basket that would be for someone, right? Then they have these bottles. They're adorable. The first one says, grill, eat, chill, and repeat. The second one says, cold drinks, good eats, and barbecue. These are really good sized bottles too. They have the little cap things here so they don't fall off. The bottles themselves, measure nine inches. Again, I'm just thinking like, what a cool basket that would make, right? Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do um, a basket or something like that for Father's Day, but obviously Mother's Day comes first. Okay, also um, hanging around the barbecue section, they had some of these flower sack towels and they have this one here that says, um, I can't quite read it. It says, eat well, Live simply, laugh often. And anybody that knows about these flower sack towels, they're awesome. You know, they really do work well. Also found this one that says, I love you from my head to my tomatoes. Super adorable, especially for those of you that have gardens and look forward to growing your tomatoes. I grow tomatoes, at least I try to. Last year was pretty good um, compared to the year before. I was impressed. Um, we'll see how it goes this year. Okay, let's uh, go over here. I did pick them up. Some, I did pick them up. up. Okay. <laughs> Time for a sip of, never mind. I'm going to have a uh, another peppermint patty. Okay. Um, I did pick up two more packages of the glitter vase filler. Doesn't mean that's what you have to use it for. Um, you get over 110 pieces. These are the ones in the pastels. I wanted to grab them to put them away for things that I want to use for not only Mother's Day, but for spring in general. So I knew these would wipe out for Easter, so I wanted to get them before they were gone because you won't see these again because these are Easter items. Um, here's something different. So unorganized. I did pick up some wax paper because I needed some wax paper. This is uh, microwavable wax paper, 65 square inches. I also picked up some parchment paper. This one here is 20 square feet, nothing super fancy, but um, I do like to bake. And when I bake, those are what I bake with. Um, this is a little different. 
I don't know. Um, if someone wants to see what one looks like, um, I'll be happy to blow it up for you. On the go travel inflatable neck rest pillow. So it provides comfort for train rides, flights, and road trips. We have two colors. This packaging here, which has gray. This packaging here, which is a dark blue. Those were the only two colors I saw. I don't know if there's more or not. So let's just take a peek. I'm not going to blow it up. Okay, so all wrapped in plastic. There's the piece that you blow it up. I'm just curious to see how big it is. Actually, it's much softer than I thought it would be. It feels exactly like one of those blow-up air mattresses. Okay. Well, so there's where you would blow it up at. So I would probably think after you blow it up, you know, you tuck it in. Um, I mean, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess something to stick your head on is a lot better than nothing. Um, if you guys want me to blow one up, let me know. Hit me up down below, and I'll give you a show. <laughs> if you want me to blow it up, hit me up down below, and I'll give you a show. Okay, over 21 now. Anyway, so gray and dark blue were the only colors that I found. Okay, and what was this? This I thought was a little bit different. This is made by Guava Toys Slime Time Splat Slime 2-Pack Yellow. Um, and I just noticed that the containers, let me spin them around here a little. They actually have, let me see if I can spin it around better. Anyways, it is um, two 3.53 ounces of slime. I'm trying to get the face to spin around. I think you can see his face in there. There it is, a little bit better. So you get two things of slime. I thought this would be perfect to toss into, um, I can't say, somebody's Easter basket. We won't go any further than that. Um, let me just scoop out the rest here. Yes, my big old lunch basket. Okay. How are we doing time? Oh. I'm going to keep on going. Yeah, here's my receipt, by the way. <laughs> they walk in. Oh, I'm just dropping stuff everywhere. Okay, you know what? I really don't mean to be rude, but I'll be right back. Okay, that wasn't too bad, right? Not too bad. Okay, so here's what I'm going to show you next. All right, these are made by Jot, and I wanted to pick this up off the floor because there's three sets, and I wanted to show you every one of each set. So it's a two-pack of pencil crayons. I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not getting what it looks like on the inside. Um, I don't use these very often, the mechanical pencils. So... This is what they look like. So I'm going to bring it in close. First of all, look at those koala bears. And then I guess I'm trying to figure out, I mean, that looks like the lead right there. And then I don't know if this is plastic inside the plastic and the lead's in there. I'm not so sure, but that's what they look like. So they were new, so I thought I would share with all of you. They also had one here with kitty cats. So I'll bring them in. Whoops, I'm sorry for the glare. Let me try to fix that. There you go. There's two kitty cats, also the same colors. They didn't have any other colors. I didn't see any other faces or patterns, but I'm not sure. And last but not least, they had some unicornies. Look at them, guys. So here is what they look like. Like I said, these are the only three that I found, and they're calling them pencil crayons plus eraser toppers plus gomies oh that goes into um i don't 
I guess I'm trying to understand. Maybe it's just the pencil that slides through there. Maybe I'm just worrying about something I don't need to worry about. It's all 2 a.m. Why am I dealing with that? Because I can't sleep. Okay, moving on. This was a fun find, brand name, and a little extra bang for your buck. These are made by Bic. You get five Bic highlighters. These are the chisel tip, so they've got that angle. And there are the pretty, pretty colors that you get. Two yellows, orange, green, and a pink. These are always great to have around. Sometimes when I'm doing research or doing certain things and I need to check certain things, I highlight, um, especially if it's a book that I own, of course. Um, so these are always in use around me anyways. So I thought that was a good buy. Another couple of pens I found. Um, these are a repeat from maybe a little over a year ago now. Um, but they were so pretty and I remembered I gave all mine away. Didn't keep any for myself, so I got one for myself and the other ones I'll end up giving away. These are made by Jot as well, and these are all black ink. Bear with me one moment. Let me get you a measurement. They all measure from the top to the bottom seven inches. So I think most of you will remember these. These are the mermaid tail pens. So I'm gonna bring it in because every pen is different. So here is the first one. Here is the second one. And here is the third one, my favorite, the purple. So those are kind of cool. Also, another good thing to stick in an Easter basket. There's only what? Well, you make it today's Friday. Easter Bunny comes in two days. Oh my gosh, already. Okay, a couple other pens I want to share with you. And then we're going to dive into a, a few new makeup items I found. When you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are. All right, I won't kill you guys any more than that. It's a magic star. I can't find a magic wand. I'm just looking in the wrong places, but um, I'm on the hoot for a magic wand and I will find one. Until then, I have a magic star. So um, it's cute. It's all in gold. And if you flip the little thingies, the sequins, it can go silver. It's got stuff on each side. It's just another fun pen for my collection. This does write in black and it does have a removable cap. And there's like some kind of fuzzball from something or someone. Good God. Okay, this measures nine inches in length. And then I found this one here, which I used to call unicorn whales, but they're technically nor whales. Um, and here, oh, you know what it is? I'm seeing it looks like some extra hot glue, maybe. Okay. So this one looks just like that. And if you change, you go all to silver. But I happen to like the colors a lot more. Same on the front and the back, same size. Last but not least, they have these mermaid tails. Aren't they beautiful? I didn't find any other colors like this. I would have loved to find something with purple, but I just wasn't finding it. So this is pretty enough. So if you take... I'm gonna show you here, this. This one's a little bit different. I'm just gonna move some of the sequins down. This will go black on this side, and on this side will give you black as well. So if you want more black tones in there, you can do that. So this one does not go silver like the others. And then you just run your fingers back over it, and boom, there you go. I mean, you get some purple flashes in there every now and then. I just thought they were cute. Okay picked up some hand lotion. Um, this was the first time I saw this at Dollar Tree by me before. This is Olay. No, it's Olay Quench Ulster Mo Ulster. <sighs> I need another mint. That That's the problem. Okay. Olay. I forgot to do that. 
Olay Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter. Um, it is a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. There's what it looks like. I gave it some sniffs and it sniffs pretty good. I love the smell of Shea Butter. Oh, and I felt, honestly, my hands get really bad in the winter months. They're like sandpaper. I like a hand lotion that I can put on that within a couple of moments, oh my gosh, that smells so good. Mmm. I'm going to need me another one of those. This is almost soaked in already. That's how bad my hands are. But I don't like a hand lotion that makes your hands feel sticky or slimy. I want a hand lotion that, you know, rubs in and I'm able to do things. Um, because when you get the ones that are real slimy, you end up wiping most of it off. This really smells nice. I'm going to get that bottle again. I won't. Um, here it is. Ultra Moisture Shea Butter hmm, with Hydrant Quench. Very, very nice. That's what that bottle looks like. I would definitely recommend somebody giving that a try. I, I'm going to get another bottle of this. It really smells nice. Pretty soon we're going to have sniff a vision. I'm not so sure if that's a good thing or not, but the way this world is changing, um, you never know. Okay. I'm going to wrap up this video with a few new makeup items. I have them all organized right here in front of me. Okay, so let's start off with a few things by LA Colors. i never seen anything like it. I thought, well, these are kind of different. These would be fun in an Easter basket. I found a total of... Oh, here I just went and told you I was organized, and now I'm not again. Okay, I know I'm missing one, but something could have happened. Okay, LA Colors. These are so cute. They are 0 0.4 ounces. This first one is called Crystal Lip Gloss, and I'm telling you right now, this is all about the packaging and the presentation. This first one is called Pink Aura. So can you see how large this top piece is? That is why they're calling it, you know, a crystal because it looks like a big old crystal on the top there. If you want a measurement, let me give you one, four and a quarter inches. So there was the first one I found. The second one I found is Amethyst Power not so sure. Again, this is a lip gloss. It doesn't say anything about scents or flavors. So I guess you're going to have to find out. <clears throat> but that's the second one I found in the purple. Then I found this one here that is called Quartz Queen. Well, la di da. And that is done in a bluish tone. I think thought I had one more. Let me just double check. I'm just going to show you those for a second. Okay, I am drawing a blank here. All right, so I'm going to move on. So that was LA Colors. This, <clears throat> which I thought was super, super cool. This is made by Wet n Wild. This is called When Stars Align. It's a liquid cat suit. It's a liquid. Mm, it is eyeshadow. Okay, I had to think for a second here. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this color. It looks a lot darker than it is. There's a good shot right there. It's got some bling bling going on. You can see as I move it, you can kind of see some little iridescent glitters going through right there. Really pretty. Don't let the tube discourage you. The tube looks like it's really dark. <clears throat> it's really not. It's really, really nice. Okay. Also, let's go to LA Colors for a moment. 
They have some really cool stuff out right now, I must say. All right, bear with me a moment because there's a lot here. Okay. All right, so I found some new eye markers. The first one is LA Colors and it is blue and it has a slim felt tip pen. It says it's smudge proof and it's 0 0.02 ounces. There is what it looks like. And it's got a felt tip pen, almost like a marker. I've used these before and they really are nice. They're very precision. I mean, you really can get what you want to get. The next one is the same thing. And by the way, these are smudge proof. And this one is in black. They work very, very well. <clears throat> also LA Colors. Between Wet n Wild, Hard Candy, and LA Colors, I tell you, these are metallic liquid eyeliners. The first one here is metallic blue. And there is what it looks like. The next one is matte black. And then we have metallic lavender. I am very curious to see what that's gonna look like. Very, very curious. So that's cool. All right, staying with, um, let me see, who's this? Wet and Wild. All right, let me stay with some more Wet and Wild or actually flip to some Wet n Wild. I found a couple eyeliners, uh, lip liners. The first one, it is um, Wet n Wild First Gel Lip Liner Crayon. It is 0 0.25 ounces. This is what the package looks like. And there is what the color is supposed to look like. We shall see. The next one is a gel lip liner as well. And I'm looking for, oh, did this one have a color on top? Think Flamingos. There is the color for that one. This one here, Bear to Commit. Hmm, that's different. Bear to commit. Let's see if I can get in these without ripping them all. No, I'm gonna have to break all these seals and I don't wanna take all that time for you. Okay, this was a fun find, I thought. <clears throat> I've used these before from I, where I purchased them. I think I purchased them at Dollar General before, places like that. Anyways, these are all wet and wild. These are the color icons and um, I want to check something for a minute. Where is... All right, I'm having a brunette moment. Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. Okay. Oy, it is late. These are 0 0.20 ounces, and these are the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushes. These are some cool colors. First color I found was Keep It Peachy. And sometimes blush colors, let me get the glare out of there for you. That's a good shot of it. This looks much darker on camera than it really is in person. So this does not do any justice, but it's always fun to play with colors, especially when you live in a place that you have different seasons. Because like in the summertime, I wear more lighter makeup or hardly any because I'm much tanner. In the wintertime, I'm like white is a ghost because I get like no sun. So I like to switch up my makeup for the seasons. Just like in the summertime, it, when it's light, I use lighter makeup. In the nighttime, I use a, a nighter time kind of makeup, if that makes sense. The next one I found is called Fantastic Plastic Pink. Again, wet and wild. So here was the first color. Here's the second color. And these are all full-size products. I mean, these are products that are selling at Walmart and Target. And I'm going, oh, 
maybe people are not aware that they have this kind of stuff at Dollar Tree. The next one I found was called Blazing Berry. And it looks like that. So here are the three different colors I found. They were all new to my area. I don't know if there's more colors. I have no clue. This I thought was super fun. And I saved this for the end because I think this was one of the coolest finds. I hope they work. Okay. So these are by LA Colors. And they're called Tattoo Stamp pens. Okay. I knew, I mean, what are they going to think of next? Each of these are 0 0.07 grams. They are, um, transfer proof and what it is, it's temporary, obviously. So here's what the packaging looks like. <clears throat> so evidently this is supposed to have a stamper that makes it look like a flower. Well, we're going to give it a shot and see. So again, it's LA Colors. I'm just curious. They have several different ones. But before I go showing any more, I want to know if they actually work. So the only way to find out is to open one up. Okay. So here is the actual packaging itself. Okay. There is the end, which there's a better shot of it. <clears throat> so it looks like a flower. I'm going to use my old woman hands. Now, I don't know. This might be something that I have to, you know, prime a little bit. I'm not sure. So we're going to do it together. No kidding. Do you know how crazy people are going to get with this? I didn't expect that. Wow, let's try it again. Look at that. Okay, so that's where this is going to go. That's cool. Man, where was this stuff when I was a kid? Okay, so they had this one. Then they had one with stars. And I'm going to rip them all open because i got to share these with all of you. These are cool. <clears throat> I mean, I suppose you could take any type of ink pad or any type of sponge and cut it any size um, and do what you want. So these are stars. Oh man, those are so cool. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> and then I found moons. Okay, again, all LA colors. And they say they're transfer proof. So what that basically means is they're not supposed to go from one person to the other. Okay. So let's try the moon. Let's see. Man, oh man. There's your moon. <laughs> These are awesome. <laughs> I'm going to have fun. Last but not least, um, this one is hearts and it looks like that. I hope this stuff comes off before I go to the doctor later on this morning because he's going to be like, what in the hell are you doing, girl? Okay, last but not least, this one is hearts. I'm thinking I should got another set of these because I'm thinking they're not going to be there when I go back. Oh my gosh. How cute. I wanted to make sure I had the heart in the right direction. How fun. How fun. <sighs> I don't know. If it makes you smile, that's all that matters. Oh, before I leave, I've got, I got... Um, three ugly dolls that uh, I wanted to share and open with all of you. I hadn't seen these for a little while and I thought, okay, you know what? Let's grab them and share with all of you. Whoops. So first of all, you're going to get a bunch of little pamphlets that tell you what you can get. So the very first one, who is this dude?
I don't know what his name is. <laughs> but there he is. And he looks pretty purple to me. Okay, and then I have another one here. These are all series three. Seriously? The same one? Arr. Okay, so that's sealed in a package, so that'll end up going to somebody. Last but not least, let's give this a try. Please don't be the same one. What? What? Oh, that's kind of how I feel when I can't sleep at night. <laughs> I have, what is this dude's name? Um. Okay. This one is Wedgehead. I, I, I could see that now. And then this purple dude is Thule. It has been a wonderful, adventurous Dollar Tree haul, bloopers and all. I think I did find some pretty cool stuff. Until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Any questions, comments, hit me up down below. Until next time, everyone, bye for now.